Hello and welcome to this very special episode of Beer Reactions. I'm John O. And I'm Paul. And I... tonight we are coming to you live. Well, not live, but definitely lockdown. <laughs> live in lockdown. <laughs> I don't know whether you can see Paul there, but this is Paul here on my computer screen. <laughs> Hello, people. There you go. And you might... When I do the edit for this, I might zoom in there so you might be able to see you a bit better. I'll tell you what, here's an idea. Here's an idea, look. I'm going to switch my phone on here, look. And these are exceptional times that we're living in. So I'm going to switch my phone on and I'm going to do a, a camera, a, a video shot of Paul saying, Hello there. Right, are you ready, Paul? Right, just a minute. Right. Off you go. Here we are bringing beer reactions to you from our separate houses during these strange and uncertain times. But during strange and uncertain times, there's one thing you need to continue doing, and that's drinking beer. So here we are, another episode of Beer Reactions. The most weirdest thing we've ever done yet. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll tell you what, shall we just unveil the ale? Yes, let's unveil the ale. So show me what you've got, Paul. Okay, so I um, have been in lockdown now for almost two weeks, and I took advantage no of um, an offer of free delivery from Vibrant Forest Brewery down um, in the New Forest. And so I have tonight, John, a coffee black IPA. Wow, that sounds fantastic. No, there's quite a lot of coffee. A beer's going around, but they're all stouts, so I've never seen a coffee black IPA before, so that'd be quite interesting. Indeed. So, does it say anything on the can about what you expect from it? Well, let me see, let me see. It says, it's bor born of a love of hefty coffee beers and bright, juicy IPAs. So, this beer has coffee beans sourced from Ethiopia um, for their blueberry and stone fruit flavours. Yeah. Um, and this is complemented with mosaic, citra and amarillo and Vic secret hops. So that would be a really interesting... Um, that'll, what what will that be? That will be a really interesting contrast between the coffee. Yeah, it will. That the, sounds like it's going to be... Fruity flavours of the I'm, hops. I'm almost thinking it might come out a little bit like the Yeasty Boys, South Pacific Port we tried. Oh, I could do that, sure, yeah. Yeah, with the, so you get, that, you get that sort of coffee and that stout mellowing away into that sort That's of fruity, right. that fruitiness. Yeah. So it says a, a rich and juicy black IPA married with an unfamiliar but welcome smooth coffee hit. Wow. So it's quite unusual. Wow. And at a 6.5%. <laughs> most of the beers from Vibrant Forest are around the 6 7% mark. Very good. Very nice. Okay. Good, good stuff. Right, what I'm just going to turn the phone. Beers? I'll turn the phone off now while I do mine, alright? Go for it. Okay, well, I'll show it to you first, Paul, then I'll show it to the camera. What I've got is a. It's Concrete Ale from Orkney Brewery, okay? So we've got Concrete Ale from Orkney Brewery. Now, this is described as a golden ale, soft citrus fruit with gentle floral notes, crisp hops, perfectly balanced the biscuity Marisotta malt to provide thirst quenching ale with soft citrus, apricot and peach flavours. Don't you wish you were trying that? Hey? I will certainly do. <laughs> I'm getting very thirsty. <laughs> I've just had my dinner, Sunday dinner, and there was a, what did you have? Uh, well, Yorkshire puddings and the whole lot. Oh, jeez, right, okay, that, so you Yorkshire puddings on Facebook, but the day they look spectacular. Yeah, yeah I, I'm very good at Yorkshire puddings, although I say it myself. <laughs> Yorkshire Absolutely massive, yeah, nearly as big as the kitchen. Yeah, definitely. Wow. Yeah. So um it doesn't say on, on this what the hops, it just says malted barley, wheat malt and hops. Don't actually say what hops are in here. 
So I've no way of knowing. I didn't have a chance to research because this, it, this is very much off the cuff today. So. It, uh, now, interestingly, these two beers couldn't really be any further apart in the United Kingdom. So a beer from Orkney and a beer from, a, I think, Vibrant Forest is near Southampton. Right, ah, yes, it's just about north and south. Yeah, interesting. Okay. Let's get pouring then, Joe. Let's get pouring. Do you want to go first? Well, yeah, okay. I think what we're going to have to do, we can't try each other's, this is disastrous. So we let's just, just let's just crack up and get on. Would you look at that? Ooh. That's very good. Show that to the to the viewers at home there. Wow. Look at that. That does look very nice. Now that's a bit of a staple beer of that particular brewery, isn't it, John? It is, yeah. I have had I have had corn creek before. Um, and it was one that I had lined up a while ago, but then I never got round to doing it on beer reactions. So um, I thought, well, I'll dig it out and do it tonight. How about that? Brilliant. On this Sunday night special. <laughs> so, what are you getting? So, definitely get coffee. It looks very dark, it's got a great head on it. It's got a lovely head, yeah. No, it's very dark, it is definitely smells of coffee. There are some light kind of tropical flavours, but yeah. they are quite light. The overwhelming sort of smell is definitely of coffee. Um, and it's going to be quite strange to taste because I'm expecting it to be quite stouty in terms of the way it smells. Uh -huh. um, I'm just going to have to dive in there and give it a taste. Give it a go. But while you're doing that, I'll have a sniff of mine. It's very biscuity. This has got very biscuit notes to it, with a slight lemony smell behind it as well. A little bit of honey. There's a bit of honey, a bit of biscuit, a bit of lemon on the smell. What's it taste like, yours? Very, very. There's a very strong flavour of coffee. Um, those kind of fruit flavours that uh, they were talking about in the can here haven't really come through. All right. Okay. But it's it's um, because it's a black IPA. It's very. Uh, thirst quenching, it's almost like um, having a kind of a cold brew coffee actually. Right, okay. This is very nice. It's very, it's got a malt, it starts off very malty. <coughs> it's not too bitter. And uh, right at the end there, there's a slight fruitiness and that lemoniness that I said at the beginning that does sit there for a bit and then that dissipates and you're left, left with that. It's almost like the malted milk biscuits. You remember that? We've talked about that with another yes, beer. It, it sort of lingers with that maltiness a little bit. Mm. It's not too bitter. Very pleasant to drink. Um, but very, the overwhelming flavour is malt rather than hops on this beer. Mm. But I like that. I find, I, I find that quite pleasant. You like a, yeah, you it's, like a malted beer, don't you? It's, it's not, I, mean, I, I like both. I mean, I do like that. Um, it's 4.1% this, so it's not too strong, so it's a bit of a session beer, really. You could have a few of them, I guess. I doubt you could have a few of them. What did you say the, the ABV was on that one? A 6.5%. So it's right. quite strong. It is quite strong for a stout. Mm. It it's looks really nice. Tasty. It looks nice, and I wish I could try it. <laughs> it's lovely. I mean, it is, it's very refreshing, and uh, it's quite... It, there's a, there's a real nice balance between the the bitterness of the coffee and the bitterness of the beer. Yeah. yeah. And because it's a, an IPA, then it has a really it has a really nice bitterness. Very nice. So what's it what's it sort of lingering? What does it leave lingering there? Is it bitterness or coffee or what? It's it's both bitterness from the beer and. and um, those coffee flavours mixed together. So not too hoppy. 
So it's not too hoppy? No, no, it's, it's not too hoppy. Strange, we've both, we've both got beers tonight that aren't overly hoppy then. That's right. Yeah. I mean, saying that, I mean, there's, there's a lot of, um, you know, modern hops in this, Mosaic, Citra, Amarillo, uh, Vic Secret, so, I mean, they are uh, very fruity, very aromatic, but those kind of, um, sort of tropical yeah. sort of aromas are coming through. So maybe it's not dry hops. Um, no. I'd be surprised if it wasn't. This has got, on further sort of smelling, this has got a bit of an elderflowery smell to it as well, this. Oh, uh, well, wait, okay. I mean, I, I've tried that beer before. It is really good. And it's a really good um, Yeah, it's nice. Summer. I've not had it well right enough. But it is, it is very sort of, um, very malt biscuity. Just reading the label at the bottom here, actually, and it does say, refreshing pale straw ale with crisp hops Perfectly balanced by the biscuity malt and gentle floral notes. Well, there you go. So there you go. That's almost exactly as you described it. Um, and that's, I didn't, honestly didn't read that label before I said that. That's some really nice beer. I recommend that. If you get a chance to try corn crake ale, give it a go. 5,000 years in the making, it says. <laughs> <laughs> well, this um, Vibrant Forest Brewery Black IPA is really nice, very, very drinkable. Uh, and you know you could drink a couple of these if not more very very easily you just need to be you just need to watch out because it's six and a half percent yeah but it's not quite as good as the um yeasty boys uh beer that we had now, what was that called john can you remember south pacific porter that's right that was really nice that was, that was really nice i donated it can't you i donated it can very kindly to you you did <laughs> You've not drunk it yet. You've not drunk it yet. Well, I, I've still got two left, right? Have you? Yeah. So maybe we should do another one of these where we where we drink our South Pacific porters. Yeah, we could do. We could do. We'll do a South Pacific porter special oh. via Facebook Messenger. We could do. Yeah, we could do. Well, we could do. Um, we could do a Facebook Live uh, beer reactions one day. Indeed. We need to look at to see how that works. Very much so, yeah. So scoring then? Any scores in the doors for this one? Um, it's really good. It's, it's obviously, I think, um, probably technically this is a really, um, really good beer. And these, these guys at my Forest Brewery are, in my opinion, you know, one of the best breweries in the country. Um, they are very beer, good. This beer is excellent. Um, it would be nice to have some to have those uh, tropical flavours and aromas coming through a little bit more um, in a similar way to the Easty Boys beer. Uh, so I'm going to give this a uh, let's go for a let's go for a six and a half. That's not bad. That's pretty good going. Yeah, um, I mean, if those tropical flavours or uh, aromas were coming through a bit more, that would push the score up for me. Indeed. Well, I like corn crake. I've had it before. Um, it's biscuity. I prefer it to be slightly more hoppy, if I tell the truth. I'd like a little bit more bitterness on that. But it's a pleasant beer. It's easy drinking. It's not too strong. Almost a session beer. 7 out of 10, I'm going to give it. Very good. Very good. It's not too bad. Not too bad. Well, slange. Slange. 